Sonic 2 on Game Gear. A short game, but a hell of a hard one. This is actually the first appearance of Tails in a video game since Sonic 2 on Game Gear actually predated uh, the Genesis game of the, uh, the same name by a couple days. So yeah, this is Tails' debut and he plays a pretty small part. You see the story there? Eggman grabs Tails and takes him away and Sonic's gotta, say, gotta save the day. I think it's funny how Sonic speeds up only after Eggman takes to the skies. And what's Tails doing on the the title screen? It's not like he's playable, he plays a very small part in the game. Okay, now this is the first level, the underground zone. Here, if I keep, uh, if I stay on the high road the whole time, I get an extra life. And if I do so in the Act 2, I get a Chaos Emerald. Now, the way Chaos Emeralds work in this game, well, the first five are scattered in the difference Act 2, the first five uh, Act 2's in the game, and if you get all five of them, then the boss of the sixth zone will drop the, the sixth and final emerald. There are only six emeralds in this game, and, after, and if, you, if you do get all six emeralds, you gain access to, uh, to the seventh and final zone. And if you don't have the, five, the first five Chaos Emeralds, the sixth boss will drop nothing and you don't go to the final zone and you get the bad ending and you don't risk your take. And yes, that's supposed to be Eggman on the sign. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it the first time either. I thought it was some kind of octopus or something, but yeah, it's really supposed to be Eggman. Alright, this is Act 2, this means time for the first Chaos Emerald. Gotta stay on the high road the whole time, and it gets pretty, pretty tricky later on. It's not a very long stage, but gotta stay on the high road. Am I gonna do it? Ah, oh, no! Wait, maybe I can salvage it. I, I think you can't lose an Emerald permanently until you actually beat the second Act. So, maybe if I go this way, I'll be able to salvage it. Okay... Oh, damn! I hate when this happens, and this happens a lot in this game. Yeah! I can salvage it. Alright. I'm back on the high road. That jump... On the card... JUMP! Oh, damn it! hate when this happens. Just a little bit short. There are a lot of pixel-perfect jumps in this game. Ah, go away, you stupid card. I don't want you. Alright, let's try this again. Okay. Okay, I had to jump before. I, I never remember that one. And, ah, in the spikes again. And you don't get back as many rings as in the Genesis games when you hit something. Now let's go to Act 3. Act 3's in this game are small stages followed by a boss. And there are no shields in this game, and in Act 3's there are no rings either, so you can't get hit at all. So let's pray that that I, uh, that I do good on this one, because it's the hardest boss in the game, believe it or not, and we're still only in the first zone. And here we go. You plummet into a, sp a pit of lava and... Eggman comes to save me? What the hell? Does he want me dead or something? Why is he rescuing me? Alright, the boss is this tentacle thing and Eggman's off screen shooting those balls at me. Those are really hard to avoid. The ones that jump high at least. And... Okay... Oh, come on, shoot the, the next one already. Oh, come on! Oh, that was close. That was really close. Oh, no, man. It's straight in the face. Now, anyway, the reason why this boss is so hard is because after he shoots six balls, Eggman dives in for a final attack, and you can dodge him pretty easily, but the problem is there's a glitch in the game that causes him to shoot a seventh ball at the same time, and... Avoiding both at the same time is nearly impossible, so you just gotta hope that the glitch doesn't kick in. Which, from my experience, doesn't happen very often. Oh, I, 
really don't get how he's rescuing me and then five seconds later he's shooting those balls of death at me. Okay, oh that that's good. First one, second one, this one's easy. The another hard thing about this one is that there is a slope so you're constantly fighting not to slide into the tentacle thing. Okay, that one was close. Come on. Oh, oh! It's a miracle I didn't die. Oh, that's close. See? Oh, 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 oh my god! Do you see that? You might want to replay this while mashing the pause button because that was awesome. Usually, when I dodge both, it's in a single jump, but I landed between the two. That's incredible! I... I think it's the first time I've ever done it that way! Whoa! Anyway, this game's hard, as I said, but I've been playing it for 15 years, so... Maybe I'll get a nice playthrough without too many deaths, if I can just stop falling into every spike pit, spike pit I see. Okay, and there's a well-hidden one-up, and I'm gonna need it because there's a part where... It's really not self-explanatory, and sometimes I die there, actually. Alright, I'm going up, and you're gonna see why in a second, why I'm going so high. Well, apart from this place being called the Sky High Zone, okay, invincibility, okay, the Hang Glider. Now this is really counterintuitive, because you gotta press left in order to keep it up. Or maybe it's just my mind playing things at me, that I expect it to work by pressing up, but whatever. Time for another Chaos Emerald, and this is probably the hardest one in any Sonic game ever. No, screw that! The last two in Sonic Chaos are even more of a pain in the ass. So you saw that hang glider there? I, I'm supposed to use it to get to the Emerald, but it's absolutely impossible! So now I'm going to try the nearly impossible way, by looking for springs hidden. Ah, I fell right next to it, maybe, yeah? Yeah, the springs are hidden in the clouds. That's why it's so hard. Oh, come on, come on! Oh, I missed! Anyway, yeah, you, you don't see the springs. Sometimes there are rings above it, but sometimes there aren't. So it can get really hard. Oh, there's a there's a there's an extra life that I forgot to pick up at the beginning. So I'm gonna take advantage of the, of the situation to pick it up now and trying to get back up. It's annoying how hard it can be sometimes to get from the lower road. Ah, spikes again! I hate these. They're all they're always placed at the worst possible spots. That means really unforgiving. Okay, I'm back high. Fall in the gap in the clouds. Okay. Uh, fall there. Now, just one more jump. Now I gotta be careful not to overshoot. Yes! Chaos Emerald number two acquired. So now I can finish the stage. Once I get out of the spikes. Okay. There. Ooh. That was crazy. My my heart's beating way too fast every time I do this stage. It's like it's like my head is saying, you can't do it, you can't do it. But I did! Time for boss number two, and this one's easier. There's no crazy glitch associated with this one. It's just beat all the minions and the boss appears. Okay, so I gotta beat all the Ooh! I'm surprised I didn't die at that one. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention there's no spin dash in this game, but you probably already know that uh, after nine minutes of me playing. Okay, now I gotta destroy all these eggs and then the boss appears. Doesn't matter if I beat all the little things or not, as long as, long as I break the eggs, that thing appears. And I gotta land on the head, because if I land on the beak, it counts as a hit, but I risk getting knocked into its fireball and can be really a problem. Okay, I beat it. No problem, this was one of the easier ones, actually. Let's free the animals, and another zone down. Five more to go. 